Hello and welcome to another C Sharp coding homework exercise. We are going to be working with Windows Forms. We are going to create a very simple application that will contain five picture boxes. And when the user clicks on the first picture box, uh, a message box should pop up with the word one in it. Uh, when the user clicks the second image, the message box should uh, display the word two and so forth. So when the user clicks the fifth picture box, the message box should have the word five in it. So very simple. We have our blank form and we need five picture boxes. So I'm going to create one, two, three, four, five. And I'm just gonna put them here close to each other so they all fit like that. And let's stretch them a little. We will import the, mess, uh, the uh, pictures the images from the images that were supplied with the textbooks. So uh, we have five uh, picture boxes. Uh, let's rename the form so it uh, displays uh, the name of the exercise, which is clickable, clickable images. And uh, we can rename the form as well, clickable. Uh, mistake again, clickable images. We don't even have to really uh, rename it. Uh, the picture boxes can stay the same. Picture box one, two, three, and so forth. So this is our form. And then again, now we have to import the, mess uh, the images. So I click the first picture box, click this little triangle here and click choose image. And I'm going to uh, display them or put them into my resources. So I'm going to check project resource file, click import. And here are the picture boxes. I mean the images for the picture boxes, one, two, three, four, five. This is from the chapter two folder of the textbook. And I'm going to click open. And now I have five images. The first image obviously will be one. So I'm going to click OK. And that's my image, but I'm going to stretch it so it uh, fits the whole picture box. And for the second one, obviously, I'm going to have two and stretch it. Third one, I'll import number three, stretch it like that. And the last two, obviously, four and five, and we'll stretch them as well. So that's four, and this is five. So this is a very simple form. So now let's uh, make these images clickable. So when I double click the first one, I'll go to my uh, event handler for the picture box, click, and we're going to display a message box, message box that show that will obviously show the uh, message box in the parentheses it's supposed to display the word one because this is the first uh, picture box. But after that, uh, I'm going to give it um, to display a text in the message box, basically the header. Uh, I will call it clickable image like that. And let's not forget the semicolon. So now I'm going to copy paste it. I'm just going to copy it for now and double click the second one. I'm going to paste it there and change the word one to two. And obviously the third one will have the word three. Here comes the fourth. Oops. And it's going to be word four and five. Like that. All right, so uh, let's run it. Here's my form. You cannot even see it because it's kind of off the screen, but I, let me move it here. And um, so when I click one, here's my message box one. OK. Two. Here's my message box three, four, and five. So that works OK. But let's uh, click the form and go to the properties and uh, find the start position. And from the default location, let's change it to center screen. So it will display in the center of my monitor. 
it's not gonna be in the center of the video because the video is uh, smaller than the, my screen but uh, let's also do one thing let's go to our events over here so we have the uh, message box is popping up but what about let's do one thing let's disable the uh, picture boxes after they clicked so they can be each clicked only one time so let's and to do that it's very simple we have our picture box one and the property to do that could be you can either hide it make it vi visible and set it to false so it's not visible or enabled which, which it says gets or sets value indicated whether the control can respond to user interaction so when we do enabled equals false so now when I click the picture box one I still get the uh, I still get the message box click OK but now I cannot click it anymore it's not enabled anymore so I still can click the other because uh, nothing changed there but the first one is being disabled and you can obviously uh, make all of them like that uh, or you can you can also position them differently change you know colors and stuff like that every picture box has uh, certain properties that you can change either directly by in your property windows here or you can do them in a code if I type in the name of the of the uh, picture box in this case picture box one and dot and it will give you a bunch of uh, methods and properties that you can uh, that you can use on this picture box so you can play with that you can change the size size mode and so forth again you can make them invisible by setting the visibility to false so it's really up to you to play with it it's a uh, you know this is a the window windows forms are fairly simple to uh, to change and edit because of these properties that are available for each uh, element on the form but our exercise was to create five uh, picture boxes and make them clickable which we did so it's working fine i hope you liked the video and i will see you in the next video Take care.